Unity Fellowship Church leader got tired of the police unexpected visits at her church even before the coronavirus pandemic started. The pastor and the congregants were harassed a couple of times when the church equipments and chairs were taken by the police claiming that they are making noise, whereas the bottle stores nearby are left to make the same kind of noise. Hi T-Squad and welcome to the T-World. Fast forward this past weekend, the church had over 50 people on one of the tents which caused a commotion. From the arrival of the police and the blockage, they encountered by the gate of the pastors under the leadership of Pastor Makova. The overall situation became too chaotic for the small number of police, which led to them to go back to get a backup. Pastor Makova immediately went to where the police were and started praying as she declares. Later on, she headed back inside and the police were seen coming back, but surprisingly not stepping where she was praying at. I guess with fear of what might take place. At his squad, a police came back in numbers with guns shooting with rubber bullets. Two church members were hurt and two police members as well. They ended up taking the pastor and arresting her after she boldly asked why they are attacking a church instead of parks that are overcrowded. She then asked them which van to enter. Carrying guns, they leave the criminals in the street and they come to church. They come to people without guns. They want to destroy people without guns. Lord, deal with their families. Kill them one by one. Kill them one by one. Let them die. Today we say, no mercy. Let them die. Let them die. A T-Squad are praying for God's will to be done upon her congregation and the new souls under her guidance in the Lord. What do you think of Pastor Makuba's prayer towards the police and their families? That's it for now, T-Squad. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.